Shalom YLM and Shalom my fitness family. It's your girl Smithy Lee coming at you today with another daily bread. There's nothing ever wrong with getting that extra, that extra reading, that extra knowledge. Because when you stay in his word, you stay planted. You are planted in his word. You are planted in his love. And for that, I was actually reading in John 14, but the Holy Spirit pushed me over to John 15, verse 6. And I read through there. So I'm like, you know, when it hits with my spirit, I'm like, I have to share it. I have to give the glory to someone else to know, like, this word is life. It is life in his word. And just right here with this, this scriptures, these couple of scriptures right here in John 15, starting at 6, will give you that, that enlightenment. So it reads, anyone who does not remain in me is thrown away like useless branches and withered. Such branches are gathered into a pile to be burnt. But if you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask for anything you want and it will be granted. When you produce much fruit, you are, you are in you are my true disciple. Excuse me. This brings great glory to my father. I have loved you even as the father has loved me. Remain in my love. When you obey my commandments, you remain in my love just as I obey my father commandments and remain in his love. I tell you, I have told you these things so that you will be filled with my joy. Yes, your joy will overflow. I don't know. That's what I say. I don't know about you, but when I'm reading those words and those words pop off at me and I'm looking like I will reap, I will, I will feel the joy. I will be overflow with joy. Yes, it's just telling you, remain in his word, remain in him. When you think that you should go seeking or the flesh is, is leading you somewhere else, that is the best time to go into this word even harder. He just tells you, remain in him. Your fruits show when you remain in him. When you obey his commandments, he will grant you everything you need. So when you're struggling with, with an addiction, you're, when you're struggling with depression, when we're struggling with things that just don't seem to come right out how it should be, He's just telling you, remain in me, abide. And that's what we, we all have a hard time doing now. We all fall short because he's told us we all fall short of his standards. But remain in him. That's picking up your cross. I got to go back to you. If it, it's picking up your cross daily, repenting from that sin and turning. So when you can pick up your cross daily, repent and ask God and not just ask him, you really go to him and let it all out and get it on the table and just be like, Lord, I can't do this without you. I need your help. I need you here with me. And when Yeshua left, Yeshua even told you in the scriptures, it's John, it's in John 14. If I'm correct myself, I'll probably go back and find it. But it's in John chapter 14, where he said, where you, where Yeshua said, I will leave, once I leave, I will, I will leave you with help, with an advocate. And that's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the one that helps us guide us, that keeps us Keep us on the right track. But that's if you're feeding your Holy Spirit. If you're not feeding your Holy Spirit and you're feeding the flesh, who's going to dominate? The Holy Spirit or the flesh? So, as it says, stay in the word. If your word, my word is in you and you remain in my word, what, what can go wrong besides him elevating you? Besides him giving you more more fulfillment to knowing like you know what lord i can do this and i have a purpose and assignment that you have placed on me and i'm ready and i'm willing and i'm going for it so read this for yourself you know i always tell you i hope you get the same alignment or better than i got it because it's life in its words and it tells you right there every day all day it's life to these words when you remain in him it's life so i want you to use this apply this and i want you to be blessed